Good afternoon. I am continuing the reading from Second Kings of the Book of the Second Kings of the Old Testament of the Holy Bible from chapter eight onwards. Then speak Elisha unto the woman whose son had he addressed her to life, saying, Arise and go thou and thy household and sojourn wherever thou canst sojourn, for the Lord has called for a famine, and it shall be called upon the land for seven years. And the woman arose and did after the sayings of the man of God, and she went with her household and sojourned in the land of the Philistines for seven years. And it came to pass at the seven years end that the woman returned unto the land of the Philistines, and she went forth to cry unto the king for her house and for her land. And the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, saying, Tell me, I pray thee, all the great things that Elisha has done. And it came to pass, as he was telling the king how he had restored a dead body to life, that behold, the woman whose son he had restored to life cried to the king for her house and for her land. And Gehazi said, my lord, O king, this is the woman, this is her son, whom Elisha restored to life. And when the king asked the woman, she told him, So the king appointed unto her a certain officer, saying, Restore all that was hers, and all the fruits of the field, since the day that she left the land, even until now. And Elisha came to Damascus, and ben the king of Syria, was sick. And it was told to him, saying, The man of God is come hither. And the king said unto Hazael, Take a present in thy hand, go meet the man of God, inquire of the Lord by him, saying, Shall I recover of the disease? So Hazael went to meet him, and took a present with him, even of every good thing of Damascus, forty camels burdened, and came and stood before him, and said, The son ben king of Syria, has sent this to thee, saying, Shall I recover of this disease? And Elisha said unto him, Go say unto him, Thou mayest certainly recover, howbeit the Lord has showed me that he shall surely die. And he settled his countenance steadfastly, until he was ashamed, and the man of God wept. And Hazael said, Why weepeth my Lord? And he answered, Because I know the evil that thou wilt do to the children of Israel. The strongholds wilt thou set on fire, the young men thou wilt save, slay with sword, will dash the children, rip up the women with child. And Hazael said, But what is thy servant a dog, that he should do this great thing? And Elisha answered, The Lord has showed me that thou shalt be king over Syria. And so he departed from Elisha and came to his master, who said unto him, What said Elisha unto thee? And he answered, He told me that thou shalt surely recover. And it came to pass the morrow that he took a thick cloth, dipped it in water, spread it on his face, so that he died, and has a reign in his stead. And in the fifth year of Joram, the son of Ahab, king of Israel, Jehoshaphat, being the king of Judah, Jehoram, the son of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah began to reign. Thirty and two years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Jerusalem. And when he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, as did the house of Ahab, for the daughter of Ahab was his wife, and he did evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord would not destroy Judah for his servant's sake, and he promised him to give him always a light and to his children. In the days Edom revolted under the hand of Judah and made a king over themselves. So Joram went over Zair and all the chariots with him. And he rose by night and smote the Edomites which compassed him about. And the captain of the chariots and the people fled into the tents. Yet Edom revolted from under the hand of Judah unto this day. Then Libna revolted at the same time. Then the rest of the acts of Joram and all that he did are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah. And Joram slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And Ahaziah the son reigned in his stead. In the twelfth year of Joram, the son of Ahab, king of Israel, did Ahaziah, the son of Jehoram, king of Judah, begin to reign. Twenty and two years he was Ahaziah when he began to reign. And he reigned one year in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Ataliah, daughter of Omri, king of Israel. And he walked in the way of the house of Ahab, did evil in the sight of the Lord, as did the house of Ahab. For he was the son-in-law of the house of Ahab. And he went with Joram, the son of Ahab, to the war against Ahaziel, king of Syria in Ramoth Gilead, and the Syrians wounded Joram. And King Joram went back to be healed to, in Jezreel of the wounds which the Syrians had given him at Ramah, when he fought against Hazael, the king of Syria. And Ahaziah, the son of Jehoram, king of Judah, went down to see Joram, the son of Ahab in Jezreel, because he was sick. Chapter 9. And Elisha the prophet called unto one of the children of the prophets, and said unto him, Gird up the loins, take this box of oil in thy hand, go to Ramoth Gilead, 
and when thou comest to the look out there jehu the son of jeho safat the son of nimshi and go in make him arise from among his brethren carry him to an inner chamber take the box of oil pour it on his head say thus says the lord i have anointed the king of israel then open the door and flee tarry not so the young man even the young man the prophet went to ramoth gilead and when he came behold the captains of the host were sitting and he said i have an errand to thee o captain and jehu said unto which of all of us and he said to thee o captain and he arose and went to the house poured the oil on his head and said unto him thus says the lord god of israel i have anointed thee king over the people of the lord even of over israel and thou shalt smite the lord of house of ahab the master and that i may avenge the blood of my servants and the prophets and the blood of all the servants of the lord at the hand of jezebel for the whole house of ahab cheperish i will cut off from ahab him that pisset against the wall and him that is shut up and left in israel and i will make the house of ahab like the house of jeroboam the son of nebat and like the house of baasha the son of ahija and the dog shall eat jezebel in the portion of jezreel and there shall be none to bury her and he opened the door and fled then yehu came forth to the servants of the lord and one said unto him is all well wherefore came this mad fellow to thee and he said unto them he know the man and his communication and they said it is false tell us now and he said thus and thus spake he to me saying thus says the lord i have anointed the king over israel then they hasted and took every man his garment put it under him at the, on the top of the stairs and blew with trumpet saying jehu is king so jehu the son of jehu safat the son of nimshi conspired against joram and joram had kept ramoth gilead he and all israel because of hasiel king of syria and king joram was returned to be healed in jezreel from the wounds of the syrians had given him when he fought with hasiel king of syria and jehu said if it be your minds then let none go forth nor escape out of the city to go to tell it in jezreel so jehu rode in a chariot and went to jezreel for joram lay there and hasiel Ahaziah king of Judah was come down to see Joram. And there stood a watchman at the tower in Jezreel, and he spied the company of Jehu as he came, and said, I see a company. And Joram said, Take a horseman, and send me to meet them, and let it say, Is it peace? So there went one horseman to meet him, and said, Thus says the king, Is it peace? And Jehu said, What hast thou to do with peace? Turn thee behind me. And the watchman told, saying, The messenger came to them, but he cometh not again. Then he sent out a second on horseback, which came to them, and said, Thus says the king, Is it peace? And Jehu answered, What hast thou to do with peace? Turn thee behind me. And the watchman told, saying, He came even unto them, and cometh not again. And the driving is like the driving of Jehu, the son of Nimshi, for he driveth furiously. And Joram said, Make ready. And his chariot was made ready. And Joram king of Israel and Ahaziah king of Judah went out, eat in his own chariot. And they went out against Jehu, and met him in the portion of Naboth, the Jezreelite. And it came to pass when Jerome saw Jehu, and he said, Is it peace, Jehu? And he answered, What peace? So long as the wardens of thy mother Jezebel and her witchcrafts are so many. And Joram turned his hands and fled, and said to Ahaziah, This is treachery, O Ahaziah. And Jehu drew a bow full strength and smote Jeboram between his arms. And the arrow went out at his heart, and he sunk down in his chariot. Then said Jehu to Bidka, his captain, Take up and cast him in the portion of the field of Naboth the Jezreelite. For remember how that when I and thou rode together after Ahab his father, for the Lord laid his burden upon him. Surely I have seen yesterday the blood of Naboth, the blood of his sons, says the Lord. I will recruit thee in this plat, as says the Lord. Now therefore take and cast him into the plat of ground, according to the word of the Lord. But when Nehesiah, the king of Judah, saw this, he fled by the way of the garden house. And Jehu followed after him and said, Smite him also in the chariot. And they did so at going to Gur, which is in Ebleam. And he fled to Megiddo, and he died there. And his Aaron's servants carried him in a chariot to Jerusalem, buried him in his sepulchre with his fathers in the city of David. And in the eleventh year of Joram, the son of Ahab began Ahaziah to reign over Judah. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it, and she painted her face. And tied her head, and looked out of the window. And as Jehu entered in at the gate, she said, "Had Simri peace, who slew his master?" And he lifted up his face to the window and said, "Who is on my side? Who?" And there looked out at him two or three eunuchs. And he said, "Throw her down." So they threw her down, and some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall. 
and on the horses and he trod her under foot and when he was coming he did eat and drink and said go see now this cursed woman bury her for she is a king's daughter they went to bury her but they found her no more of her than the skull and the feet the palms of her hand wherefore they came again and told him and he said this is the word of the lord which is spake by his servant elijah the tishbite saying in the portion of jezreel shall the dogs eat the flesh of jezebel jezreel in the portion of jezreel shall dogs eat the flesh of jezebel and the carcass of jezebel shall be as a dung upon the face of the field in the portion of jezreel so they they shall not say this is jezebel and chapter 10 And Ahab had seventy sons in Samaria. And Yehu wrote letters and sent to Samaria unto the rulers of Jezreel, to the elders and to them that brought up Ahab's children, saying, Now as soon as this letter come unto you, seeing your master's sons are with you, and they are with your chariots and horses, a fenced city also and armor, look even now to the best and meetest of your master's son, set him on his father's throne, and fight for your master's house. And they were exceedingly afraid, and said, Behold, two kings stood not before him, how shall then shall we stand and he that was over the house and he that was over the city the elders also and the bringers up of the children said to jehu saying we are thy servants will do that thou shalt tell us and we will not make any king do thou that which is good in thine eyes then he wrote a letter the second time to them saying if he be mine and if he hearken to my voice take ye the heads of the men of your master's son come to me to jezreel by tomorrow this time now the king's sons being seventy persons were with the great men in the city which brought them up and it came to pass when the letter came to them they took the king's sons and slew seventy persons put their heads in basket and sent them to jezreel and there came a messenger and told him saying they have brought the heads of the king's son and he said lay them in two heaps at the entering of the gate until morning and it came to pass in the morning that he went out and stood and said to all the people ye be righteous behold i have conspired against my master slew him but who slew all this now know now that there shall fall unto the earth nothing of the word of the lord which the lord spake concerning the house of ehud for the lord has done that which he spake by his servant elijah and so jehu slew all that remained in the house of ahab in jezreel and all the great men and his king spoke and his priests until he left him none remaining and he arose and departed and came to samaria and as he was sharing the house in the same way jehu met with the brethren of ahasia king of judah and said who are you and they answered we are the brethren of ahasia we go, go down to salute the children of the israel and the children of the queen and he said take them alive and they took them alive and slew them at the pit of the shearing house 42 men neither left he any of them and when he was departed thence he lighted upon jonadab and the son of rechab come in to meet him and he saluted him and said to him is thine heart right as my heart is right with thee and Je- jehonadab said it is if it be give me thy hand and he gave him his hand and it took him up into the chariot and he said come with me see my zeal for the lord so they made him ride in the chariot and when he came to samaria he slew all that remained unto ahab in samaria till he destroyed them according to the saying of the lord which he spake to elijah and jehu gathered all the people together and said unto them i have served baal a little but jehu shall serve him much now therefore call unto me all the prophets of baal all the servants all his priests let none be wanting for i have a great sacrifice to do to baal whosoever shall be wanting he shall not live and he who did it subtly to the intent that he may destroy the worshippers of baal jehu said proclaim a solemn assembly for baal and they proclaimed it and jehu sent to all israel and all the worshipers of baal came so that there was not a man left that came not and they came into the house of baal the house of baal was full from one end to another and he said unto them that is over the vestry bring forth vestments for all the worshipers of baal and he brought forth vestments and jehu went and jehu jehonadab the son of rechab into the house of baal and said unto the worshipers of baal search and look there be here with you none of the servants of the lord and the worshippers of baal only and when they went in to offer sacrifices and burnt offering jehu appointed four score men without and said if any of the men with whom i have brought into your hands escape he that let them him go his life shall be for the life of him and it came to pass as soon as he had made an end of an offering a burnt offering that jehu said to the guard and to the captain go and slay them let none come forth and they smote them with the edge of the sword 
and the guard and the captains cast them out and went to the city of the house of Baal. And they brought forth the images out of the house of Baal and burned them. And they break down the image of Baal and break down the house of Baal and made it a drought house unto this day. Then Yehu destroyed Baal out of Israel. How be it from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nehebath, who made Israel to sin, Jehu departed not from after them to wit the golden calf that were in Bethel, then that were in Dan. And the Lord said unto Jehu, Because thou hast done well in executing that which is right in mine eyes, and thou hast done unto the house of Ahab, according to all that was in my heart, thy children of the fourth generation shall sit in the throne of Israel. But Jehu took no heed to walk in the law of the Lord of God of Israel with all his heart, for he departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, which made Israel to sin. In those days the Lord began to cut Israel short, and Hazael smote them in all course of Israel. And Jordan eastward, all the land of Gilead, the Gadites, the Reubenites, the Manassites, the Aroar, which is by the river of Arnon, even Gilead and Bashan. Now the rest of the acts of Yehu and all that he did and all his might are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the king of Israel. And Jehu slept with his fathers and they buried him in Samaria. And Jehoahaz, his son, reigned in his stead. And this time, Jehu reigned over Israel in Samaria was 28 years. And chapter 11. And when Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal. And Jehoshada, the daughter of the king Jorah, sister of Ahaziah, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him from among the king's son, which was slain. And they hid him, even him and his nurse, in the bedchamber from Athaliah, so that he was not slain. And he was with her hid in the house of the Lord for six years, and Athaliah did reign over the land. The seventh year Jehodiah sent and fetched the rulers over hundreds with the captains and the guards, and brought them to him into the house of the Lord, and made covenant with them, and took an oath of them in the house of the Lord, and shewed them the king's son. And he commanded them, saying, This is the thing ye shall do. A third part of you that enter in on Sabbath shall even be keepers of the watch of the Lord's house. And a third part shall be at the gate of Sur, and a third part at the gate behind the guard. So shall ye keep the watch of the house, that it shall not be broken down. And two parts of all of you that go forth on the Sabbath, even they shall keep the watch of the house of the Lord about the king. And ye shall compass the king round about, every man with the weapons in his hand. And he that cometh within the ranges, let him be slain. And ye be with the king as he goeth out, as he cometh in. And the captains of the hundreds did according to all things that Jehodiah the priest commanded. And they took every man his men that were to come on in Sabbath, with them that they should go out on the Sabbath, and come to Jehodiah the priest. And to the captains of the hundreds the priests gave David spears and shields, and that were in the temple of the Lord. And every guard stood, every man his weapons in his hand, round about the king, from the right corner of the temple to the left corner, along by the altar and the temple. And he brought forth the king's son, put the crown upon him, gave him the testimony. They made him king, anointed him, clapped their hands, said, God save the king. And when Athaliah heard the noise of the guard and the people, she came to the people into the temple of the Lord. And when she looked, behold, the king stood by the pillar, as the manor was, and the princes and the trumpeters by the king. And all the people of the land rejoiced and blew with trumpets. And Athaliah rent her clothes and cried, Treason, treason. Jehodiah the priest commanded the captains of the hundreds, the officers of the host, and said unto them, Have her forth without the rangers, and him that followeth her, kill with the sword. For the priest had said, Let her not stain in the house of the Lord. And they laid hands on her, and she went by the way by which the horses came into the king's house, and there was slain. And Jehodiah made a covenant between the Lord and the king and the people, that they should be the Lord's people, between the king also and the people. And all the people of the land went into the house of Baal, break it down. His altars and his images break they in pieces thoroughly, and slew Matan the priest of Baal before their altars. And the priest appointed officers over the house of the Lord. And he took rulers over hundreds and captains and the guard, and all the people of the land. And they brought down the king from the house of the Lord, and came by the way of the guard of the gate. To the king's house and he sat on the throne of the kings and all the people of the land rejoiced and the city was in quiet and they slew Athalia with the sword beside the king's house seven years old what was Jehoas when he began to reign